Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am filming a chatty get ready with me and this is a super chatty one. I had a bunch of stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So if you would like to get ready with me and just listen to me chat about a bunch of stuff that's been on my mind. And I also use um, a couple of new makeup products today as well and some odor stuff. So yeah. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. Hey guys, good morning. So I thought I would film another chatty get ready with me while I was getting ready for work. I didn't have to go into work until a little later today, so I had some time to film and I'm just enjoying some of my coffee. And I'm debating on what foundation to wear because I have been testing out the Wet n Wild, the new Photo Focus Stick Foundation and I'm not really the biggest fan of this. I really wish that I liked this, but it makes, it really emphasizes my pores. Like it doesn't settle in my pores, but it just makes my pores look larger. And I kind of want to take a break from this today. I might try it another day with like a pore filling primer to see if maybe I like it better that way. But I don't know. I don't really have the best luck with stick foundations. At least I haven't found one yet that I really like. So, and the shades on those, it's like, I can't really figure out what my shade is. So it's like, I want to use a foundation that I know I really like today. Just going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear because I have been so in love with this. I told you guys about this in my January favorites. So I'm just going to use that today because like I said, I just, I can't right now. <laughs> and I'm not going to do like a really intense eye look. I'm just going to do something natural. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my foundation first. And I did apply like my skincare stuff off camera. So I just dropped foundation. So I'll list in the description box what skincare stuff I use, but it's like the same stuff that I've been using. So but I'm just gonna dot this foundation all around my face and then I'm gonna blend it out. Okay, and I might attempt to blend this out today with this Real Technique Blur and Blend, I think that's what it's called, little brush, because I picked this up yesterday and I've been using it with the stick foundation. Um, geez, I feel like with this foundation, I put way too much down with this thing. I might go in with the beauty blender on top once I get done blending it out with this and just make sure that everything's blended good. Yeah, I can definitely see with where that foundation, cause I've seen other people review this L'Oreal foundation and they, most people say that with a brush, it looks um, more full coverage. And I can definitely see that because with the brush, I feel like I needed to use less foundation. But I have really been enjoying this brush with blending out that stick foundation, even though I'm not like the biggest fan of the way it looks with my pores. I do feel like it blends it out really fast and easily. Even faster than like with a beauty sponge, so. But I mean, you can blend over your nose with it, but it's still like easier for me. I feel like to blend out foundation with a makeup sponge around my nose. And then yesterday I did pick up the Infallible Full Wear Concealer from L'Oreal. And I used this for the first time yesterday and I felt like it looked kind of drying on my under eye area. So I'm gonna try this out again today and see what I think about it. I have seen at least one other review, um, What Would Lizzie Do? And she said that it looked really drying on her under eye area, so I don't know. That's the only person I've seen a review, like seen talk about this concealer. So I don't really know what other people think about it. But the shade that I ended up picking up in this is in Vanilla 355. And I'm just using my little mini Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and I did dampen this off camera and to like help blend out my foundation a little more I was just using my dampened Ulfra Perfecting Puff I 
I think the key with this concealer, and honestly with a lot of concealers with me, is like right on the under eye area, not to apply too much, but then you can apply more, you know, down underneath the under eye area. Cause it's just like, I feel like that's just where my skin is starting to show a little bit of aging is right around my under eyes. And also like I'm starting to get like little 11 o'clock little baby wrinkles in between here. And I have seriously debated about getting Botox right there. And I know that like some people would be upset about that or whatever if I got it done, but I just don't want super bad like frown wrinkles in between here. And not that there's anything wrong with that. Um, my mom, she has like a really deep wrinkle and I just don't want like super deep wrinkles right there. And plus two, it's like, I'm going to put some concealer right there. Plus two, it's like I find myself like furrowing my brows a lot. Sometimes like when I think, or sometimes I feel like just looking at computer screens, you just naturally do that because of the light. And if I can prevent getting super du su super dark wrinkles right there, I would rather do that. It's like, I don't necessarily mind about crow's feet or even forehead wrinkles that much, but it's just that bothers me because <laughs> I don't want to look mad all the time, you know? Okay, so to set everything, I'm just gonna use my powders. And it's like one of those things. It's like, if I wasn't doing YouTube, like honestly, I wouldn't even think twice about getting it done, you know? I mean, if I have the money, I know it's expensive and you have to get it done like every six months or so. But I wouldn't even think twice about it, but it's just, oh, I think I'm gonna use this today because this is new. I got this sent to me for free from Octoly, or through Octoly from Real Techniques. Um, I selected to do a review on this, and this is their Insta face brush, I think. Insta Pop face brush. And I have been using it for powders, and I feel like it works pretty good. But yeah, it's like I wouldn't really even think twice about it. But it's like with YouTube, it's like you feel like, oh, I don't want to step on people's toes and stuff. But I really have to get over that and do things that I want to do. And I mean, like I said, I want to do videos that y'all want to see. But I can't worry about if I get a little bit of Botox if people get upset. Like, I mean, people are just going to get upset. I mean, I'm going to turn 35 this year. I'm trying to find my brush. I mean, I'm going to be turning 35 this year, and it's like, you know, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with a 35-year-old getting Botox. I feel like that's a normal age to start getting stuff like that. Um, but it's like, obviously, I'm not going to go crazy and get like a nose job and fillers and lip plumpers and you know, lip fillers and all that stuff. Like, I'm not about that. Like, I just want to get a little bit of Botox right here. And not to say that there's anything wrong with that even. If that is something that has really concerned you and you would feel better if you had that done, go for it. You know what I mean? That stuff is not permanent. Fillers, Botox, none of that stuff is permanent. So, I don't even understand why people make such a big deal about it anyhow. But <laughs> that's my whole spill <laughs> on that situation. I'm trying to figure out what eyeshadow stuff I want to use today. And I've been wanting to use more of these Wet n Wild Liquid Cream eyeshadows. Um, Wet n Wild sent me a PR package of all of their new makeup. Not every single thing, but like most of it. And they sent me off the cream shadows. And I've been wanting to use this one in Sand Castles. So I think I'm gonna use that one today. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting Botox anytime soon because I haven't really looked into finding out who to do it. Cause my mom, I think she just goes to like her dermatologist to get it done. Um, but I wanna do some research on it and figure out who I would want to go to and you know how much it's gonna be. So if I need to save up some money, I can save up some money for it. I'm just going to blend this out with my Sigma P84 brush and I'm probably not going to zoom in for the eyes today because, I mean, I'm just going to use this one eyeshadow product. 
Maybe I'll use one of these little blending brushes. But with these cream eyeshadows from Wet n Wild, at least the color Putty in my hands, it's like once you put them down, like they're very liquidy and you can like blend them out. But then after they dry down, then they set up and they don't budge. So, and I've really been enjoying Putty in my hands. I feel like it must have snowed last night. I can't really see outside, but people are driving so slow on the road. So... I just got a little bit more of this and I'm blending it with this Profusion blending brush. And I don't know if I told you what color this was, but this is in the color Sand Castles, which is their tan one, kind of like a bronzer color. I'm just gonna get some on a brush first and then just blend it. I think that way tends to work the best Get it on the brush and then blend it out. Yeah, this is such a great product to just like use like a one eyeshadow product look. The only thing is I feel like in this outer corner part, you kind of have to be a little careful. But I have been in love with these Profusion brushes that come in the Profusion palettes. Like they're great everyday eyeshadow brushes. And I'm gonna take a little bit more of this and put it on the other side. Okay, that car's going pretty fast, so I don't know. Um, and I'm just gonna smudge this on the lower lash line. Which I might go in with a slightly darker color and put that in my outer V. Um, but back to the whole <laughs> Botox situation, um, but you guys will have to let me know if I decided to get that done, if you would like to see a video on it, and I don't know if I would be able to film the procedure getting done, I mean, that would definitely be something I'd have to talk to the doctor about and all that sort of thing, but yeah, I mean, I know people have tons of videos on that. So I don't even know if it would really be anything to show. And then before I go in with like my face products, I just want to kind of mist my face. And I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild 3-in-1 um, Primer Water, and this is the rose one. Then since that has dried, I'm gonna go in, if I can grab it. I have two of the new Wet n Wild bronzers in Sunset Strip Tees and Ticket to Brazil. And I used Sunset Strip Tees the other day and I feel like I did like this. I've also used Ticket to Brazil. This shade is slightly a little different than like the regular, like than their old Ticket to Brazil bronzer. Um, I think first, I'm just going to apply this with my Real Techniques brush. Like, I want to use this, but I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out if I really like this bronzer or not. So, I want to go in with a brush that I know I like to use. But, like, these bronzers have, like, just a little bit of a sheen to them. Like, they're not completely matte. Kind of like the L'Oreal Too Much Lumi Bronze It or something like that. And Sunset Strip Tease is a little darker, a little more cool toned than To Get To Brazil. To Get To Brazil is like more warm and it's a little lighter. I'm sorry if you can hear the, well I don't have to apologize, but if you hear noises, it's the cats. I think a lot of times when I say sorry, I don't necessarily need to apologize. It's just like I'm trying to be polite, you know? And my lips have been feeling super dry, so I'm going to apply some of my Emile Cordon um, Cashmere Lip Pot just to moisturize my lips a little bit. I don't want to be like <laughs> too blushed up, but I really need to start to use these Lancome blushes. So I'm going to try to apply this with a really light hand. This is in the color Soiree. And just 
gonna kind of dab some of it off on the back of my hand but I feel like this color here even though it's like you know a bright pinky red it would give you like that really pretty like you were just outside and it was cold like that flushed look yeah it definitely gives you a nice flush look and if you just apply it with a light hand I don't feel like it's too overpowering. I mean, I do feel like these little Limano cro Chromatiques, <laughs> I feel like they're pretty buildable. Like, you can just put a little bit on for like a sheer, like, wash of color. Okay, for my eyeshadow, I think I'm just gonna go in with just a little bit of this dark brown out of the Wet n Wild Rose in the air. Cause I wanna deepen it up just a little bit in the outer V, but not too much. So I'm just using my Sigma E25 blending. And I'm just going to lightly just kinda dabbing that off on the back of my hand so I don't apply too much. gonna give it a little bit more definition but I definitely like that cream shadow like I like the shade of it and it definitely would be a good color to just use by itself like a sheer wash of color and I think I'm gonna use this new wet n wild highlight in bloom time I used it for the first time the other day and I could use this. I mean, this highlight does give your cheeks like a little bit of color. Like in some ways it kind of reminds me of the blush that they had the springtime of this year that had the little hummingbird on it. I can't remember what that blush was called, but it's kind of the same color as that. I think it might be a little lighter, like not quite as pink. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and mist my face real quick. And I'm just using that same rose primer water stuff from Wet n Wild. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes up. And then I'm gonna apply some mascara that um, Nick's worth the hype and my um, lash lift is starting to fall now, so that's why I'm curling my lashes up. I felt inspired this morning to film some videos because um, several of you guys commented on my video from yesterday, which was my makeup collection video, and said that you wanted to see what I keep in my freelance kit. So I think I'm going to film that this morning. And I also had another one of you guys... Um, request that I do a video on like my ultimate favorite like um everyday lipsticks that I had in this acrylic um like turny like turnstile <laughs> I don't know if that's how you would explain it the rotating the acrylic rotating thing that I had so I don't know if I'm going to talk about every single lipstick that I have up there in that but that one section that I was telling you about that had like my ultimate favorite like everyday lipsticks, I think I'm gonna talk about those, so. Okay guys, so since I'm gonna film that lipstick video, sorry if my camera's all shaking, I just, it, I turned it off while I was doing the rest of my mascara. Um, I've really been enjoying that Worth the Hype mascara from NYX. I really like this stuff. If you want major volume, like, this mascara is so, so good for that. I mean, it almost gives you borderline, like, clump lashes, but I don't know. I kind of like that look sometimes. Um, but, yeah, I feel like I'm all over the place today. <laughs> but, yeah, since I'm going to film that lipstick video, I'm not going to put any lipstick on. I just have that um, Emile Cordon, like, lip conditioner on, so... 
With this look, you could wear any lipstick and it would look really good. So I think this is a good everyday, like going to work or school makeup look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me. I know it was like super chatty today, um, but I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So yeah, I hope that you guys have a great day at work or wherever you're going to be at. I don't know. This video might go up on a Saturday, so you might just be at home. But yeah, so I will see you all in the next one. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications. And like I said, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.